The Nigerian Action Limited Ocean Indies and Market Capitalization appreciated by 8.32% to close the week ended Friday, January 26, at 102.481.88 basis point and 556.38 trillion naira, respectively. The market recorded a total turnover of 2.981 billion um, shares worth 57.80. 87 billion naira in 60, 67,962 deals. The financial services industry measured by volume led the activity chart with 1.8 billion shares valued at 26.7 billion naira traded in 29,276 deals, thus contributing 62.5% and 46.26% to the total equity turnover volume and value respectively. Ambrose Amodio, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited, joins me now live virtually as we take a, twi a quick look at some of these figures while we make projections for the new week as activities at the exchange begins trading today. Ambrose, good morning. It's a pleasure having you join me on the program. Thanks for having me. Listen. Ambrose, quickly give us a heads up of what played out at the exchange last week um, off through Monday to Friday, we're seeing another um, positive trend playing out at the exchange. What is your reaction to all of these? And what are the fundamentals driving this green um, um, takeover? Yeah, for me, the market uh, has been uh, a first straight weeks of uh, positive uh, momentum. I tell you that investors are really um, cashing in for new position why some also taking away profit in the market. Well, it tells you that uh, for the fourth week of the year, market has been uh, more than uh, 85, it's 80.5% 80, 80 of the total gain of 2023. That means given the number of the 36.95% for the stock market in Nigeria. And to speak, most of the stock market is 100% in less than a month. It tells you that the market is already bullish for, for this month of uh, no, January. Yes, by the January key trade that are certain in January that people want to pay school fees on the Wattie market or in the moon. As a result of buy interest in high cap stocks, and at the same time, any season you know, around the corner, as we speak now, more numbers are hitting the market to give investors insights for where they are going. As a result, we saw the data came from uh, the better page yesterday um, during the weekend. And this one was that market are yet a positive is that uh, better page was result because it has given insight what will to happen at the end of their audited account. For me, this is what we will see in the market between now and end of uh, February. But I tell you how to speak. All eyes are still at on the coming outcome of uh, the PTC meeting come the last week of uh, November. Then of uh, February, sorry. This will go to you know, shape the market up and down. As we don't call and it's on big market expectation, you give insight to what we do, that was going to go to the market up and down. That means for the month of February, we will see a new number and a new market for the month of February that will end the board. Given a little bit only for investors, most of them are trying to refine because of all what the money has done. So that we will see a correction or a pullback in the month of February, especially as most of the investors are trying to pay more than most of the money has over what we do. Then the corrections are away. We don't know that there is no position to the market, but those stocks that are here to move, that is where the value investors are not paid out to make it to make it to make it. And they have the best decision of buying it or taking it at the end of the day. For me, this market has never value, and for that, if you refuse to take profit from this market, you yourself will have the best to claim at the end of the day because no market in the world remain in up direction or remain in down direction. This opportunity, if the market goes up and down, that's why we buy long, we say high. Now that I've gone to this level, this opportunity for investors to take profit, but go back again, they don't be too forward for anything. I believe that by the month of February and uh, uh, I hope to see more dividend paying. Uh, Stock really result, and I'm also announcing that the event at the end of the day that will not give you the income investor more opportunity to cash out that event at the end of the day. All right, thank you so much for that insight. But I need to ask you this question before I let you go. What can you say is the ripple effect of the decline in foreign investors' participation at the exchange? And how can the exchange be positioned well to attract more foreign investors? Foreign investors don't enter any economy without understanding the political direction of the world of the economy. Sure, yes, we know that you know, during the COVID-19 era, 
elect our leader market, they told that the community want to swallow our leader vote. No, our local participants are not know it is not a vector to cover the market at that particular time. Since the market are remain stable and what is good for our economy that we are seeing more local participation in the market. Yes, as we are seeing a kind of another dimension with a new policy coming from this government, we saw some new people, we saw in China, but see, we think that we are not seeing any follow up from this uh, initial move of the government. But for the better, I assume that it is. It's a good move on the part of government, some of them are hiring coming back to our market. And also because of the pricing problems that have made Nigeria market cheap you know, and attractive, they are seeing the coming back. I believe that local investors also to play smart because any market is going to be coming to the market, they want to put the price up higher. Anytime they are going out, they want to put the market in red. That's why our local investors should play with what, with knowledge now and not with more sophisticated uh, no, equipment to know exactly more money to know, momentum to know when. Before investors are going out of the world, speaking of, they are coming back to Nigeria gradually. For the more get our policy right, I think they will become the more. But for us that are here, let's get ready to get coming because our markets are cheap, first of all, I can just today. For that, let's go and let's not go and speak. For us, we should open their eyes to see because this one investor, when they come, any small change, any policy change, or policy some matter, they will be set down the market, they will the market in the airport. For us, no market exists for foreign investors. But let our regulators also put a benchmark where foreign investors can see because. Anywhere in the world, you plan with your market. So if you are not foreign investors to take your market, you can't plan with that market. For four years, Nigeria has planned the market because we have local in players to change the market stability. We see how it moves from 2020, stable to 2023. Now, when foreign investors coming back to 2024, let us play with what we can get intelligent and at the same time follow the market and trend to know exactly what it is. If not, foreign investors will talk to local investors and not understand the market. All right, then let's wrap up now with this question. In 30 seconds, Ambrose, what's your outlook of trading activity starting today, the first day of the trading week, and also the last for the month of January? What is your expectation? What's the market saying at the moment, and how is it going to end of today's trading activities? Tell me, the market is ready to end for me. We already were that the last of the has also been to the cost of 700 naira, no price mark. Moving to almost uh, like a 12 trillion market cap now to speak from what we are seeing this morning. That's what the market. And also, we are seeing also buying interest, you know, in Oricando, in Owando, in the Mia Baker, in Venture Pitch, as I mentioned earlier, because of the results. This is actually our private market today, but I think the market will close for this day today. But for the rest of the week, knowing that you know, this week I will usher in another new month, month of February. I thought you'll we'll see in this market because once you enter February, there will be adjustments for what? For what the president for the bank of a uh, dividend, best of uh, earning, and best of all the outcome of uh, equity meeting. And let's not forget that rate option between now and equity is also give inside where the rate is going. And don't forget that anytime the eyes break in any way in the world, capital market will suffer for it. Top market and interest rate are not together. Once you have the interest rate, top market will start bleeding. Uh, I will leave it at that. I'd like to say a big thank you to you, Ambrose Omar, your chief research. Officer Invest Data Consulting Limited for your time with me on the show and also for your in-depth analysis of market activities as they played out at the NGS. Thank you so much for your time and for yourself a wonderful day ahead.